Hello and welcome to the Australian Inventors Laser Lab. This episode we're going to take a, a black and white picture straight off Google and we're going to put it into um, Windows Paint Shop. We're going to need to modify the picture uh, to enable the laser to actually etch everything because uh, if the lines are how can I say broken or, or too fine or too grey um, what happens is the laser doesn't print it so you miss part of the the picture so you you have to make sure that um, the the clarity is there so it's got to have a high resolution high clarity to make a, a, a good picture uh, come out um, in material and we're going to try different materials we're going to try um, we're going to try some hardwood and we're going to try some acrylic plastic um, I might try a bit of softwood as well and um, we'll see how we go so let's open up the Microsoft paint and then we'll just I've got a photograph here that I quite like um, okay so this is a Tasmanian devil and that's what it looks like now it's here around the ear and across by the nose there you'll find that there are very light grey and white areas so when the laser scans through here to, to cut this into the material uh, it'll miss this out altogether so we're going to have to modify this so what we're going to do we're going to pick um, going to pick a pencil fine line black and we're just going to come in here and around the ear, especially here we just follow this around don't have to be sort of too exact might look a bit bitty but um, in actual fact it comes out quite a lot better now then the important thing here is to save it as a bitmap So we'll save this picture now to our memory device and um, go to the other computer and put it into laser cut and convert it to a file that uh, the laser understands. Okay so simply just take the new file, I'll just open the new file and show you so you can see now it's more prominent around the ears and the nose. <coughs> I've cleaned it up even a bit more actually. and. Um, this now will cut reasonably well I think so we'll just drag and drop that into there and we'll take it over to the other computer now and uh, put it into laser cut we come up here now and we import a picture there it is there Ooh. so I think we need to resize that it's very big but you can see this is a good example a bitmap picture is saved like um, a newspaper printed picture it's pixelated so now what we're going to do we're going to it's very big I'm 
Okay. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put um, handles around it and we're going to now resize it. At the moment it is two and a half meters, uh, over two and a half meters in size. Actually, it's a lot more than that. It's 25.6 meters. It's a very, very big picture. So now we're going to uh, squeeze it down to a more manageable size, I think. Um, I think we'll do uh, 50, uh, maybe 75 millimeter. 75 millimeter, 75 millimeter. That's okay. Okay. That's better. Now then. And I think what we'll do is um, I think we'll, ju we'll just leave this as a, a one cut. Not, not a cut exactly, sorry. Uh, one click on that. We're going to engrave it. Um, let me see. Now, we're going to put it into dark wood uh, or hardwood actually. So, we want to, you know, I think we're going to need a heavier amount. So, we're going to go 25 on here and we're going to go 18 on here, I think, or 16. We'll go 16. 16, 25. We'll give that a shot. Calculate that. And then we download it to the machine. Okay, so I've got a odd scrap of, it's actually one that I've had on the CNC router and made a mistake. So um, I'm using the back side of this just to gauge um, how this is going to perform. Um, this is myrtle by the way, Tasmanian wood, but it's a, it's a hard dark wood. Um, I have got dark wood which we'll try as well, but we'll give this a try first. Okay. So we've got to set the, send the table right down and we'll use the automatic setting device then to uh, set it up. This incidentally comes with the machine as well if you order the um, automatic Z. It's, uh, on the back of here there's a proximity sensor you just simply press the Z datum and that's correctly set it's actually nine and a half millimeters off the, the, the wood. There's a, a two inch lens in, in here. The lens is about here. So now let's set the uh, X and Y zero. 
salt too far. Uh, that'll do. And we set the datum actually on here. And that's done. So now we'll do a, a test um, square to see whether everything is correct. Okay, and we'll set, set it off. And you know that's come out pretty good. You can just feel that the laser has etched out, oh, probably about maybe a couple of thousandths of an inch. And now you can see the, the difference it makes by making a prominent. Uh, around the ear here and along the nose nose area there otherwise you would have just lost it it would have been white all the way through there in other words not burnt but that is not bad I'm pretty happy with that actually